Jillian and this is my dad and he's going to be my customer. So I asked him what he would like and um, and he wanted the spider. So what we decided to do is we're going to take the sparkly black and put it for the legs. We're going to take the normal black, put it for the body, but we're going to leave some parts because there are going to be a red dot on it and red jaws. And when you're working on hairy men, you're going to want to do, go somewhere on their underarm so it isn't so hairy. And when you're pulling, and when you're taking the thing off, um, the sparkle tattoo off, you're going to pull down, not up. Because it will hurt more if you pull up, pull up, because it will be against the hair. If you pull down, it won't, it won't hurt as much. So, first we're going to need some, some alcohol. Not the kind of drink, and then you're gonna put it on a thing to clean the to clean the area where the where you're gonna put the tattoo. So so there's no oil from the skin that will make it stay on longer. But it does not smell the best, so you don't want to smell it. All right. <laughs> um. So next up, you want to make sure it's dry. Like a little bit dry and a little bit damp. And my dad will show you. Then, what you want to do is it might be a little hard, but you want to take off the backing of the sparkle tattoo and leave the blackness and the overcover of the sticker on. You want to pull those things off of the backing. You want to be very, very careful careful with the black part because sometimes it can be tricky like on the butt on like on my first butterfly so then you want to stick it to the arm then then you want to sort of take it on the skin and you want to try and not get those lumps that happen to me but but if you do that doesn't mean the baddest thing so then you want to rip it like this because there's still going to be hair then you want to flat Try and flatten it out a little bit and make sure the insides are stuck, stuck, stuck there. Then what you want to do is you want to take Sparkle, ta spa sparkle Tattoo Glue. This is the brand that I have. It's meant for bodies. Then you want to take it and not too thick or not too thin, you want to, you want to go and brush it along here like that and yeah and then and then you also want to get some refills to make sure it isn't too thick or thin like right there it was a little bit thin you want to make sure you go every place Now I'm doing a hard. I'm doing the hard. I'm doing it the hard way by doing the by doing the red dot in the middle of the body. That's a little bit hard. You might not want to try that for the first time. All right. So I've got everywhere it cleared. So sure. So it should look like that once you're done. Now, I'm going to wait a minute or two. My strategy is opening all the sparkle bottles, but not before, but when the glue is trying to dry for a second or two. And when I'm done, I can start, I can start putting on the glitter. Thank you, Dad. Maybe don't open it right above the tattoo in case you spill. Yeah, that's a clue, if you heard that. Alright, so now it's time to put on the sparkles. And first, for what I'm doing, is I'm going to start by doing the legs. And you might want to take a thin brush, or maybe a thick brush if you're a professional. And you want to tap it. Not, you, you want to tap it, you don't want to go like that. You just want to tap it. And it's okay if you get glue in the brush, because you can clean it after. 
but you don't have to clean it every single time you've you've used one color. I used to do that, and it didn't and it didn't work very well. So I've stopped, and um, now I can get my sparkle tattoos done a little bit quicker because my customers, I just didn't feel like they were having a good time while they're getting the sparkle tattoo because they were waiting so so much, so much. So yeah, I stopped that. And you want to try and get a thick layer of glitter. Doesn't have to look perfect because you're going to be shaping it uh, to uh, some step, two steps after this step. So you just want to be very, very, very careful while you're doing the sparkle tattoos, the sparkles, to try not get it in places that you don't want, and try not to mix the colors. Um, that might be bad for the colors and the brand who made it might not be might not be the happiest person if they heard that you um mix the colors like my uh, my brand i have a deal or something like that and um i can't mix the colors so yeah i see that little lump of uh, glue if you see those the person will think that's gross and, and they probably won't want to come to you or let their child come to you come uh, like get a sparkle tattoo from you so you just want to quickly wipe those away if you see one and, and if it's going to be set the same color we will spell a different color like just a different like it's like a little bit sparklier than the other one then that is probably okay just don't panic you want to be nice and steady trying to do this i'm going to try and make it look good so the customer will be happy all right now that this color is done i'm going to take this one and I want to go like this. I want to take a circle. And I always add some sparkles if it gets a little bit hard to um, like take the brush off of the skin. So I can't go in that circle because that is where the red is going to be. I know it looks a little bit miffy, but it will look good after. Now I'm going to take the red and go right in here in this spot. And I'm, I know I'm going over other sparkles that can like make it like so there's a little bit of red in there too. And then I want to take this and take it to the jaws right here. Now, I'm going to wait a second or two. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just taking off the sparkles and the glue off my brush. And what you could also do is put the lids back on the sparkles. And when you're done, you can probably do the next step. And if that's a little bit spilt, and if there's still like one solid color on the napkin, don't dump it back in because that can give that might give other people some sicknesses from the other people's skin. So you do not want to do that. Even though it came right out of the container, just don't do it. Don't put them back in. All right. So next up, I'm going to dust them off. Like that. Okay, mom. There we go. Now I'm just going to take this off quickly. We'll try not to do it too quick. I'm just doing it because the video might end like in the middle of this. Then I'll do it a little bit quickly. It didn't turn out the best because some of the black went into the 
where the red circle was, but the jaws, and it got a little bit of red in there. So, yeah. There we go. Again, this is Jillian. Thanks for watching.